Edgar Litteg once described himself as a fornicating, gin-soaked dope head. This wasn't far off the mark. As a result, all the major artists and writers of the South Pacific knew of him, not to mention the wider public. The talented iconoclast took on the Hawaiian art establishment, also challenging the Honolulu Academy of Arts with his oversized antics and anti-authoritarian attitude. Litteg's insatiable lust for life led the author James Michener to label him Litteg the Legend in his book, Rascals in Paradise. This is the story of the American Gauguin. Leaving California in 1933 with oil paints and a few paintbrushes, he conquered the South Pacific art scene and, of course, its nightlife. Hard drinking, constantly womanizing, and endlessly painting, Litteg, the original tiki man, started the black velvet craze linked to South Pacific-themed restaurants. Going native and establishing a home in Tahiti allowed him to paint nudes, drink, and party with sensual babes at Quinn's Bar in Papeete. Meanwhile, the sheer force of his personality made him an anti-hero of his time. As a result, his many artists and author friends included Charles Merrick, Henry Christian, Robert Lee Eskridge, Willis Shook, Robert Dean Frisbee, Don Blanding, and Mutiny on the Bounty authors James Hall and Charles Nordhoff. This book explores the sensational story of Lee Teg, black velvet artist and party man of Tahiti, who painted sumptuous vahinis in his tropical paradise Villa Velour on the island of Morea between 1933 and 1953. One of the wealthiest and most famous artists of the first half of the 20th century, he was the father of black velvet art, leading to the genesis of a genre continuing today with Polynesian pop art and the Tiki Revolution. Iconoclast, contrarian, pugilist, artist. This is a story of a most memorable rascal from the South Pacific. Available in hardcover, ebook, and audiobook, and makes a perfect gift. Buy your copy today. <laughs>